Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here, another episode of Obscurity. So at the end of my last episode I had been trying to dry out all of my uh, kind of zombie flesh and turn it into leather, which I have now done so, I've actually managed to get myself a full suit of hardened leather, which is quite nice, so in terms of the quests that completed, uh, I think I unlocked all of this and I think what I was going to go for was probably one of these uh, enchanted books, I'm going to go for that one, what did I manage to get, I got... Ah, they're pretty cool actually, those leather boots. I may wear them instead. Um, we'll put the other ones in there for now. Okay, so we've got another reward bag there. So we've got a good and a basic one. So we've got a compact machine. So I don't know if that's going to have anything. Let me grab a... Um, what's what I'm looking for? I need my personal shrinking device. So is there, is there anything in here? Nope, there is nothing in here. It's just a compact machine. That's kind of annoying. Not the end of the world, but it is rather annoying. There we go, so I'll put you away. Got another one. Uh, we've also got a good reward bag, which is a diamond chisel, which is not particularly exciting, I'll be honest. So, I don't, I don't even know why I bother. Um, <laughs> so, in terms of making myself safe, I'm almost done so. I've got a blizz around here, which is still rather annoying me, which I can't see. Let's kill you. There we go, I don't know where that blizz has gone he's around here somewhere but i can't quite see him so i'm almost fully barricaded in i've just got a little bit more to do over there i'm gonna grab myself some cobblestone real quick and try and finish that off have a quick look so in terms of making myself safe we just need to go around this bit i think There we go, I think I'm fully barricaded in now, so which is quite nice. Uh, I do need more torches at some point, so that is going to require me getting some steel. But I'm sure I can get around to that in due course. Uh, I can't really stay out in the dark too long, otherwise the shadows will start coming after me, but at least make this a little bit neater. There we go, so I think we're all done here. Excellent, so I've got myself a nice little area kind of barricaded off from the outside world so I can actually start to you know mine some resources and things like that which is quite nice murder the slime so there is still a, a blizz around here somewhere uh, I've almost killed it but I haven't quite managed to finish it off so I'm going to drop down here Let's grab this loom my ore as well hope it doesn't drop down which it did not which is nice so we can actually start to kind of explore downwards now as well which is awesome Fantastic, so we're in a nice comfortable position at the moment. Well, more comfortable. I wouldn't say I was particularly comfy, but uh, we're not looking quite so perilous anymore. I've also got this area down here, which I can actually start to utilise. So I've got a bit of a, uh, a basement, which I can start to light up and make a little bit more more co more cosy, I think. So I'm going to need some... I'm going to need some torches to make myself a little bit safer, but we can get around to that in due course. Right, so what do we want to do in terms of quests? Let me grab the book. So, first things first, I want to get a water bucket. So, did I make myself a bucket? Yeah, I did. Excellent. So, what we can do is, if I grab some slabs, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, let's me put those fences away. I can head down into my little basement because if we look out this way we can see all sorts of fun stuff so we've got things like lava and there's water over there so i want to try and get that if possible so i can hear mobs around here but i have no idea where they are try to be careful i don't want to get like shot off into the void would not be fun put it that way there we go let me start to kind of make a little path over here i suppose there we go. So I can, I want, I'm basically what I'm trying to do is grab some of this water, I think. So I'm just trying to figure out which one of these is a water source, if any. Doesn't look like any of that's a water source, but we do have some more Lumite ore, which is quite nice as well. That, however, is lava, which will be quite nice for uh, set, setting up a smeltery. Let me grab this Lumite ore. There we go. Fantastic. We also need to just do that. So where is this water coming from? Let me try and figure this out. Oops, a daisy. That is not particularly good. Uh, oops, a daisy. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, I can hear like mobs and stuff around here, but I have no idea where they are. Uh, so the water source, what must be coming from around here somewhere? Put it that way. Can't quite figure it out. It's up there, I think. 
Yeah, it's up that way. So I might need to like nerd pole up a bit. So I might need to grab myself a little bit of wood or something just to kind of jump up there. Let's head up this way. Is there like mobs on the outside here? Are they? Ah, there's a. Uh, he's managed to get inside. How the hell did he get inside? I'm wondering that. I'm just knocking down into the abyss. I did, I think. Um, anything around here? I can just hear noises, I think. So whereabouts is that water coming from? It's coming from like down there, I think. Let me, ah, he's he's managed, to, he's, managed, he's managing to climb back out. It's one of the head crumbs kind of uh, almost like players, I think. Way of flowing time. I've no idea what they, what these names are in reference to, but so slimes can apparently climb over as well. I've no idea how they do that, but whatever. So I'm just gonna beat this guy to death with my frying pan, like so. Now, can I get down to the water from here? I can almost. Not quite though, which is kind of disappointing. I want to be careful though. I don't want to get accidentally killed by any. Oh god, the skeleton! But how did he come from? Apparently, they can climb over from somewhere. Got to be careful about that. Where the hell is he? Come on! Oops, a daisy. Whack him into the abyss like so. Uh, we need some food. What have I got? I've got some monster jerky. That will have to do for now. Nom 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 nom. There we go. So let me put some of this stuff away. I'm going to need. Uh, yeah, let's grab some wood. So we'll go grab some oak wood, like so. There we go. Grab a little bit more. Head down this way. Hopefully I won't meet the skeleton. Would be nice. Oh god, we did meet the skeleton. Die. That, that actually just made me jump. <laughs> Whoops. See, I can hear loads and loads of random enemies around here. It's kind of terrifying. I really want that water, though. Kind of want to just, like, nerd pole up really quick and grab it. Is it around there somewhere? Where the hell is it? it? Must be like there. Ah, there it is it there? Nope. We should endeavour to uh, find the water. Must be in here somewhere. Oh god, no, 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 this is not good. Ah, must be here. There we go, got the water source. Excellent. We found it. Grab that Lumite while I'm here. Head back down this way. Retrieve my wood. There we go, head back inside. Whew. Right, so that's that bit over and done with. Feel a little bit safer now. So yeah, this is uh, kind of dodgy, this mod pack. It's kind of like terrifying to start off with, but uh, I'm assuming it's probably going to get easier. So now we need a water barrel. So water barrel. Barrel. Here we go from Pam's Harvest Craft. So I need some water uh, and some wood. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. So I don't think I used up all of my wood there, although I can grow more. So let me grab some dirt. Is there anything out here? Nope. I'm just going to plonk you down there. Grab myself a sapling, like so, and some bone meal. Plonk you down, grow you up. Here we go, marvellous. So let's go grab a little bit more. Like I said, I think I need to kind of make sure that the perimeter's entirely safe as well at some point. I'm not entirely convinced it is at the moment, but we'll get we'll get around to it. Let me just put away some of this crafting stuff. Got more bones for bone meal, which is always nice. Put the sapling away. Here we go. So what I needed to do was what was it? Water bucket. You and okay, I need the slab first, don't I? There we go. Just make some slabs. And then I should be able to make you, in theory. So, where was it? Water bucket, oak barrel, slab. There we go, water barrel. Excellent. So, that I think is an unlimited water source. So, what we can then do is. Oh, yep, it will have gone into my inventory. There it is. Ah, sweet. So, now I've got unlimited water. Brilliant. That's what I like to see. We retrieve that. Okay, so I've managed to get that water source, and we've got an unlimited one, so full heart reward bag. I'm going to get a reward bag, as I've still got quite a few lives, and it's a good one as well, so... Bricks. Just, just bricks. Just one lot of bricks. Fantastic, you know, that's exactly what I wanted. Not. We do have a quarter of a heart, though. We've almost got a whole heart. Oh yeah, I got my uh, enchanted book. It's Soulbound 1. I'm not entirely sure what that does, but hey-ho. 
There we go. So, what do we need next? So, we've done you. Oh, look at this. So, we've got farming in the dark. So, okay. So, we need to start setting up a little farm. Okay, we can do that. Um, how's our kill quota doing? So, skeleton we've almost done. Zombies we've not quite done yet. We still need to kill three more of them. Spiders we need to kill some more of. I would particularly like to kill spiders mostly for the uh, string. So, I could actually make myself a bow. But yeah, not not going to complain too much. What I also wanted to do was possibly set myself up a smeltery. So I'm going to need a load of seared bricks, I think. Um, very nice. So we actually get quite a decent reward for that. So let's start getting some grout together. Let's have a quick look. Can I actually make grout? Double check. Yes, I can craft grout, which is good. And then I smelt that to make seared brick. Yeah, that's fairly straightforward then. Right, so what we're going to need? So we need uh, clay. We need. Oh, uh, hang on. Before I actually start to use up my gravel and sand, what I'm going to try and do is get a bit more of this mixed stuff, whatever it's called. Because what I need is a little bit more sand. There we go. To actually complete. Which quest was it? Um, I think it was in Entering the Darkness. Um, is it all mixed up? Yeah, I still need 64 sand, basically, so... I think it was on about, kind of like, 50, something like that, so we've got three there. There's a load here, so that's not too bad. So we just going to dig up this... Oops, a daisy. Where's my shovel? There we go. That'd make things a bit quicker, wouldn't it? Marvellous. I want to be careful I don't, kind of, like, put it in the lava by accident, I suppose. That didn't work. That works slightly better. Not. Apparently she's falling down into the void down there. So just going to grab this, just so we can complete that mi all mixed up quest line. And then we can start making some grout and making a smeltery. Okay, so let's head up this way. Here we go. Uh, so we need sand and gravel and clay, just to make sure we've got all that. This should now allow us to manually detect. So why isn't that working? Oh, do we need to select one? Um, nope. Why isn't it selecting the sand? Oh, I'm apparently two sands short. Right. We'll just head back down, of course. Um, this will do. That's andesite, so no good there. There we go. I think that's 64 sand. So we should be good to go now. Head back up, complete the quest, claim the rewards, we get ourselves a basic reward bag. Item, wow, that is actually a really good reward. For a basic, I'm impressed. I'm just going to plonk down this portable tank somewhere as well. Maybe in the corner there, just so I can always empty out that water. But yeah, that item con uh, item conduits are really good, considering they're quite expensive to make. Getting them out of a reward bag, not going to complain. Um... So where was I? So yeah, now I want to make myself some grout, don't I? So can I craft these into a can, like so? So I'm going to make kind of 32 bricks for now and see if that's enough. As you said, now I really want to make a stack. So one, two, three, four, there we go. I think you need something like 90 or something like that to actually make a full smeltery, but I'm going to get a load. So I don't want to make too much if I don't have to, in terms of seared bricks, that is. Make ourselves a furnace, finally. Uh, I'm starting to run out of space in here, but hey-ho. So I need to kind of make a slightly better area down here, but I'm running out of torches to do so. Um, so where were we? So we need some coal, won't we? There we go, got plenty of coal. Drop you in there, start smelting up my grout. Excelente. Put you away for now. My bone meal in there. And my quarter of a heart. Ah, we got a quarter of a heart. Fantastic. So we can now go like so and get ourselves another life. Excellent. We're up to 10. Perfect. That's going to smelt up, make some seared bricks. What else can we do? Let's have a quick look. So we're on our way to doing Forge the Darkness. I'm not quite ready to go out into the big wide world yet, I think. Um, well, apparently there's a market cube around here somewhere. We need to make ourselves a 
Baggins is. Superman's icy things. So the frozen mountain tops were once the highest points in the overworld. They still contain some items and mysterious creatures that aren't found elsewhere. Okay. We'll probably want to get ourselves a hang glider at some point. But uh, let's go back to entering the darkness. So we want to go... Ah, okay. So we need to get all of these different kinds of ores. Ooh. It's quite nice, isn't it? Look at that. It's fancy. So I need to get a certain number of these. So we need aluminium, copper, iron, tin, silver, gold. So I'll probably do that off camera now. Going to get in all those things. I need some monster jerky while I'm at it. So I really want to get farming just because I'm starting to run out of food a little bit. So we need a flint axe head and a flint shovel head. So grab two of those. I should already have both of them so i've got the axe head and the shovel head is probably still in here there yeah so i already made these to make the hatchet and the shovel so daisy yep so we've got you then we want you perfect put these both away in the pattern chest um so if we go into here so we got that so we get a sickle a reward bag and a quarter of a heart so I'll put you away consume you another diamond chisel oh, i've got to be that's three diamond chisels now. I have no idea what I'm even going to use them for. Um, okay, so firm cotton. So with such a scarce supply of sheep for wool, you've searched for new methods of getting wool. And after a length of time, you've found a way through the power of cotton. So to obtain cotton, you're in need of the seeds to grow the plant. You found none of it yet, though. Maybe punching tall grass will help you obtain what you need. So apparently you need to get cotton seeds for that. And then plant, grow, harvest, repeat. Oh, wow. So um, you can gather more seeds by bone meal and grass. Various seeds will appear in drops. You may need a lot of bone meal to get them all. How the hell do I get grass is the next best question. Got any mobs out here? Am I fairly safe? So, yeah, where the hell do I get grass from is the next best question. Um, okay. Um... Interesting. So I'm going to need to actually start kind of bowmining grass, apparently, but I don't have any grass. So that's interesting. Let me grab a little bit more dirt, I suppose. Let's make a little kind of square here. Um, yeah, we'll have this area as my dog. Oh, God. Where, where, where is it? There's a skeleton there. Oh, God. Where the hell is he? Oh, God. Ah, where is he? I can't even see him. Oh, he's there. Bring it. Ouch, that hurts a lot. Come on, then. Come at me, bro. Can you come in? No, he can't come in because I've got the um, in interdiction torch, haven't I? Just have to keep... Where the hell did he go? Did he scarper? No, he fell in the hole. Oh, God, and there's a creeper there. Is that... Was that, that skeleton aggro the creeper and then it blew up? So yeah, this is this is fun. So I've got to figure out where mobs are basically getting in over my wall, and then sort it out. Or or they could just be spawning like over there. No, they're they're getting in over there somewhere basically. So I'm going to need to sort that out at some point. Me. So he's kind of stuck over there. I have no idea why. This is another zombie to kill. Might get me some more food. Come at me. Ouch, that hurt. So I want to kind of kill him. Oops, a daisy. I want your, I want your rotten flesh to consume for food to keep me alive. So where do I get my seeds from? I've got just basic seeds, I think. Yeah. Did I get anything from that? I doubt it somehow. Um, so yeah, I still need to make this area safer, basically, at some point. So I think it's kind of like around the edges there. I'm going to need to figure out where the mobs are getting over and make sure that it's a little bit more secure. Um, what do I need then? So I can start to grow, um, what's the one I'm looking for? I can start to grow wheat, I think, with some bone meal. Let me also, can I do this grow repeat? So that's flint, clay, and coal. Does that? Oh, I think I have to trade them in, I think, which is kind of sad, but... Whatever. Uh, could do cube moving, which should get me some torches, which would be quite nice. So I think I need to. Um, eh, I, I don't. I don't know what I need to do yet. Sorry, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. Let me 
think what I can do. So I definitely need to dig up all of these ores, which will get me quite a lot of good stuff. So some iron, shiny ore, diamonds and emeralds, and a load of torches. Cotton is going to require some maybe some expir exploration, or I don't know. I'm not sure what I need to do. So he's trying to get over there. Can he actually go over? I don't think he can, but it's over there somewhere that I'm slightly worried. Whoops a daisy. So yeah, I'm probably just going to round off the episode here. I need to do some more off-camera work, I think. Make sure I'm completely secure and then start to kind of work from there. So, oh yeah, we also need to put together the smeltery stuff. I can do that quick, can't I? Uh, so what did I need to do? I needed, if we go back to Forge the Darkness, I needed a some seared bricks and I need 16 of them, which will look like that. But let me get the smeltery controller first. What else was it? Seared tank. That's going to require some glass. So I'll do that next. Let me smell that real quick first, like so. Um, smeltery drain, which I believe looks a lot like that. One smeltery drain. Uh, oh yeah, then we need some casting tables. Yep, got glass blocks, so I can make myself a seared tank, like so. We need, is it a casting table? Yep. We need a faucet. Whoops, a daisy. Faucet and a casting basin. Okay, so. Whoops, a daisy. Let's grab you up. So, I think we can make the basin now. And then, yeah, we just need to wait for a load more to actually uh, make the bricks. Yeah, so I need 64 bricks altogether, I think. Something like that. Yeah, 16. So, yeah, I need 64 bricks in total to actually make finish this off I think which I will have to leave until next episode because I don't have anywhere near enough so I'm going to round it off here for now as always guys don't forget to comment and like if you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>